So the industry's just had a massive shift. Uh, five years ago, uh, internet content was 20%. Here we are today, at the end of 2013, it is 50-50 for pay TV and uh, free-to-air versus internet content. So we're following that shift. So as advertisers leave chasing the viewers, so too does the money. Then the job descriptions uh, change dramatically and obviously it creates different pressures within network television as opposed to how that content's created. What we concentrate on at NMIT is the fact that nothing has really changed in the terms of the way that it's created. You still have to be able to light, you still have to be able to set up your audio correctly and have good cameras with focus and ability to control everything around you. Uh, then you need to be able to edit it, you need to be able to do graphics and uh, bring in music and put it all together nuts and bolts wise. So where it ends up isn't that important to us. Uh, if it's going to the internet there's going to be added considerations and that's something that we're looking to grow which is post-production skills. So that is uh, your compression rates, uh, your formats and your outputs. Uh, these are really important concepts today. Uh, in terms of commercial television, I think we're still growing individuals that can move into those areas and there are some areas there that we can't possibly teach but we know that they're going to end up there. So in that instance, we try to make sure they understand as much about what's around them or what's going to be around them when they're in that role. So broadcast control, ne network recovery, uh, any of these sorts of roles where it's highly technical uh, but it also is involving communication skills, so that's something we try to grow to. Channel 31 is absolutely integral to what we're doing. Uh, it embraces everything that we're trying to achieve uh, and probably when I was working in commercial television, uh, I had to be aware of the reverse restrictions. At Channel 31, I don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, we're able to be in a very friendly environment in terms of using commercial music because there is no uh, commercial gain at the other end stopping us. Uh, even in terms of uh, gaining uh, approval for all of the shoots that we do, we do have very strict policies for the students because it's the way the industry is going in terms of insurance, in terms of local council permits. These are really important steps for us in risk assessment, oh &S, these sorts of things. Uh, and so we pursue that, but at the end of the day, if they're students, if something gets missed, uh, and we try to make sure that doesn't happen, but Channel 31 is an environment where it's not going to cost the students their livelihood, it's not going to see them out of a job, it's growing them as individuals, and uh, that is absolutely essential for us. Community television is integral to the health of this industry in Australia. Uh, this is the opportunity for people to be heard. And commercial television doesn't necessarily provide that all the time. However, obviously that is changing as well. The, the trends in terms of people's viewing is changing. You have internet components as well. But Channel 31 provides an absolute avenue for uh, creating a pathway for the broad diversity of a community like ours. It's about, we're about to go through tough times for community television and you know, it'd be a huge loss to us. Uh, I would be you know, absolutely devastated for the students' experience in what we do if that was to go because there's no benefit to me, in my mind, there's no benefit to content sitting on a DVD on a shelf. For me, I want viewers to see the content uh, and respond to it, engage with it, and uh, you know, have it fulfil and enrich, enrich in our lives. You know? If students get in touch with me, I'm happy to discuss all avenues open to them. That doesn't necessarily uh, involve coming to study with us. If their interests lie elsewhere, I will actively try to help them find their path. Uh, for me, I think it's really important to define what that is. We actively say we're not a film school because there's people out there teaching film better than we do. Obviously, there's a crossover today in terms of editing, in terms of directing, lighting, audio, camera, use of camera. They're very, very similar, but in film you tend to get a lot more time on those elements. TV tends to be a sausage factory a little bit, and we are looking to cover a very broad range of skills when you come to study with us, so hence we try to refine exactly what it is we're offering. Uh, we also say we're not a producer course. There are a couple of producer courses out there that are specific to that. 
you do get a chance to be producer in uh, the production of our segments. But uh, specifically, if that's what you've already identified as your pathway, I will actively help you find that pathway better than with us. Uh, we also say we're not a talent course. I think it's really important uh, for students to understand how difficult it is for talent to deliver in uh, front of the camera. Uh, I'd like them to have a bit of experience with that, but not let it dominate their studies because at the end of the day, what we're trying to achieve is more technically minded uh, students who understand how everything comes together.